Hi Scrap fans, um, I thought I'd do a little update video on what I've been up to. Um, basically I'm in the middle of editing a video uh, where I'm making a sign for an auction house. Um, that's off at the Power Dakotas at the moment, so there's no video until that comes back. Uh, then I can finish that one off. So in the meantime I thought I'd show you a couple of projects that I've been doing. Um, there's one big sculpture that I've been doing, you might have seen in the background of a couple of the other videos. Um, basically I sort of do a bit to it whenever I get the chance, if I get an hour spare here and there then I go on and do that. Um, so yeah I'll show you a few of the different things I've been up to. Okay, first sculpture I wanted to show you is the one that is behind me there. Um, it is a man, I'll show you a bit closer, it is a man that is going to be digging. So where there's, he's wearing shorts and t-shirts, so where there's skin, it's all scrap mosaic like this. And then when there's clothes, it's the sheet metal like that. And considering rusting up all the sheet metal on it as well, just to give it a different, different sort of look. Kind of like it's shiny, but I think it might look better rusted. Obviously it's a garden sculpture anyway. It's not a commission, it's just one that I had wanted to do. Um, if you came during art weeks back in September 2017, this is the one that I had the framework of on display. So if you look back at one of my other videos, if you didn't come to Art Weeks, then you can see the framework that I used to, to make this one up. It's going to be pretty, um, pretty impressive when it's finished. Okay, and then as well as the, the big man sculpture that I'm doing, I've been doing uh, a few more commissions. So we've got another owl mounted onto the log there. And the little mouse that he's caught down there. You don't often get to see the backs of the wings on these when I show the pictures, so I'll show all that. You can see where I've um, coloured it with heat all on the back here. Um, so you get the nice iridescent blues and purples and bronzes and things coming through onto the um, onto the knives there for the for the feathers. Is a really nice effect, I think. And then in behind that, you probably saw in the background, we've got a duck, which is a new new sculpture. I've not done one like this before. It's the first duck that I've ever done. I'm really happy with how that came out. It's quite a cute little thing. So just a quick video today, uh, just to give a little update on what I've been up to. Um, trying to keep, keep doing the uploads, trying to do one a week. Um, I'm considering doing some reviews on some of the equipment I've got as well. So I've got uh, the um, four foot by four foot CNC plasma cutter from Artec, which you've probably seen in other videos. Uh, my MIG welder is a GYS Smart MIG 182, I think. Um, so I'm gonna see if there's any other reviews on it. Um, I might do one on my own. Um, and then I've got the TIG welder, angle grinder, pillar drills, all that sort of stuff. Um, so I think I'm gonna do a few product reviews on the, the stuff that I've got because it's all stuff that I've had to choose and I've paid for. Um, so you'll get an honest opinion on whether I think they're good or not. Also considering doing a, a bit of a how-to on uh, a few of the few of the machines that I've got as well. So the CNC, um, just a quick video just to show the basics on how to cut, I don't know, something simple like a square. Um, if you've never done it, then it's quite interesting to see how it's done. Um, and then maybe some MIG welding, TIG welding, that sort of stuff. Um, so remember to subscribe to the channel, uh, leave a comment if there's any videos that you would like to see any information about anything, just drop a comment and subscribe to the channel and have a good day.